All right, today my wife is going to be playing Hogwarts Legacy as, uh, what do we agree on, like a Slytherin? Yes, and I made my character and did one hour. I just did the tutorial, but I'm going to go ahead and delete it so I can do it okay, on the cool. video. We, I have played a Hufflepuff in, in entirety, and she's played a Ravenclaw, so she, we thought it'd be cool yeah, to do. Yeah, this one, it took me 42 hours Whoa. to beat. <laughs> Mine's probably more. Or around that. We uh, we haven't played in a year. We are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. <laughs> <laughs> Term begins on September 1st. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, Due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Let's do this. <laughs> so I'm sure you've noticed that a lot of the professors and the characters in this game are like ancestors yeah. to characters that we know, which I thought was really cool how they did that. Because Mrs. Fig is kind of important in the Harry Potter books because she like, she always babysits Harry Potter like the whole time he's grown up and like she's been sent by Dumbledore to watch over him, which right. I thought was cool. You make her as pale as you? All the way to the left? <laughs> All the there you go. Maybe not that not pale. Not that pale. There you go. That's probably more like me. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty pale. <laughs> I don't know about the dreads. No. So are you going to be a bad girl? Yes. So I was a really good girl when I was a Slytherin. I mean, a, a Ravenclaw. So as a Slytherin, I'm probably going to be bad. Go for it. I'll, I'll do some of the unmentionables. <laughs> <laughs> Unforgivables. Kind of like that one. I do too. Oh, wait. I need to change the color. No, that's, that's black. Are you going for black or are you going for like a color? I was going to do like a dark, dark brown like that. Hold on one second. Okay. She looks like she's kind of snotty. Yeah, she does. And I'm going to have purple eyes. Purple eyes? Yeah. I'm a bad girl. Does purple mean bad? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> those are not purple, though. That's brown. No, it's purple. No, those are brown. It's totally purple. Uh uh. I know there was a purple in here. I thought it was that far one. I don't think you have purple eyes. I think you're There slight. we go. That's the purple. Eh, kinda. It's totally purple. See? <laughs> Maybe barely. <laughs> barely. <laughs> uh, not on my monitor. Maybe my monitor has a different color spectrum than yours or something. Mine look purple. That was quite something. Voice ones, dudes. I'm eager to get to hold <laughs> Never but mind. You're not allowed to say girl and female anymore, or men and women in games anymore. It That's triggers. Just, it triggers yeah. people. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That sounds wrong. I would, it was I would, quite something. I'll leave pitch in the middle. It, is, it doesn't sound natural. Good to get to I feet. agree. Yeah. Do it again. In the middle. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. Okay, so that's normal. That if you're doing normal. if you're doing it different, it's it's artificial. Yeah. You I don't agree. you don't want to do that. You can tell in the headphones. Yeah. 
Um, I'm gonna do normal. The first time I played, um, I did story, and it was like really, really easy. Like stupid easy. Yeah. yeah. Normal, normal. I played a normal, and it felt just right to me. And I am always Luna. You're gonna be Luna. Love not so good. <laughs> no. What should my last name be? I don't know. I like Valentine. That's what I was last time. I like it. Like Jill. Yeah. And I am a witch. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, <laughs> I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before time began. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George. Poor, poor George. That my rather poor, cryptic poor George. description of our location <laughs> did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. Who's <laughs> 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 too long. When I Dorothy arrival, laugh. I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Hmm? Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. <laughs> Ages since I... <laughs> <laughs> It'd be good to see the old pile of rocks. That's such a suspicious look right there. I know. See, we can't see the horses yet. Yep. Because you have to see someone die. Hint, hint. <laughs> We're about to see them soon. Mm-hmm. It is kind of nice me um, not playing for a change because I can sit back and relax and not feel any pressure. And I'm excited I get to play for a change because I always watch you play things. Because <laughs> I was telling her, I don't want to play because I'm going to play Final Fantasy VII here soon and I want you to have some fun too. Yeah. Because usually we play games together, but this game's unfortunately not co-op. Right. Speaking of Final Fantasy VII, there's Avalanche. <laughs> oh, yeah. Name their terrorist group. Yes. Eco terrorists. Wee. Yeah, when I watched you play and you like didn't even care like what your wand was made out of or what shape it was or the wood or, or the core I was or anything, you. I was like, oh, oh, oh gosh. <laughs> Harry, Harry Potter is more your specialty. You've read all the books a hundred times. Yes. And who is your traveling companion? I've currently moved on to fan fiction because I love it so much. Student. Yeah, I was about to say, you're, you deserve to play. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. Those are not purple eyes. They're brown. It is indeed. None of the That's okay. It matches your hair, though. <laughs> it's cool. To Hogwarts so late. On or my monitor, they're purple. Of course, as the other fifth years have been building their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. <laughs> I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Truth or gobbledygook? <laughs> <laughs> Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Dumbledore speaks gobbledygook. Although I've yet to convince <laughs> my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he uh -oh. is a significant George, threat. watch out. And Poor George. it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I Oops. received this. 
Excuse me. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. But with no correspondence, I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly. I farted and she like looked at me like, <laughs> <laughs> I hope your mic didn't pick that up. That was the exact look I gave you, yes. <laughs> the magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's the glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Are you on drugs? <laughs> Do kids do drugs at Hogwarts? <laughs> Merlin's beard. How did you wait? I hope not. I bet there's a potion that makes you high. The Weasleys probably know about. Oh, I'm sure. And they sell. <laughs> I bet the Weasleys sell drugs. You know they do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now we can see the thresholds. Has a poor George. The driver got away too. See that? Yep. The key. Give me your hand. That was brave. Oh. It was brave. Got away just in time. <laughs> Are you right? Uh, uh, You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan Weld Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir, <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I like those beasts that like to steal coins. Oh, Nifflers. Nifflers. You get to find one of those in this, don't you? Yes. I bred them. I had lots of Nifflers. <laughs> the one in the movie was really funny. Oh my gosh, I loved it. Um, when we, because we just started the first Harry Potter uh, movie today. When we finished the eight Harry Potter movies, we really need to watch the three Fantastic Beasts because we only saw the first two and we never saw the last one. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not. Or the last one's not that good. Well, we'll still have to see it and judge for ourselves. I enjoy, I mean, just seeing the lore, like some of the magical creatures and characters that I know from the books. So mm. it's fine. <laughs> If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Well, the path seems pretty clear. <laughs> see if we can find a path. <laughs> your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. At the pawn shop. Miriam's At the pawn shop. <laughs> of a long forgotten form of ancient At easy magic. pawn. <laughs> ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. <laughs> Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. I like yes, how, I found it. Yeah, I like how in modern games, <laughs> they really hold your hand. Oh, I know. 
At first they do. Wanted to understand why such power they never shut up. Disappeared from the <laughs> wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. There you go. Yeah. Smash it. Smash that enchantment. <laughs> <laughs> Enchantment. <laughs> Must destroy all the pots. Keep pots. Keep them. Thank you, sir. Accidentally almost shot him in the butt. I like how in the Lego game you shoot people and they sometimes shoot you back. <laughs> yeah. Like, how dare you zap me? <laughs> ah, up there. He sure is an athletic man for his age. He is. We're close now. It's just ahead. Stupid pot. <laughs> Stupid pot. Feels like a Tomb Raider game here all of a sudden. <laughs> Steady yourself. It's pretty. It is really pretty. Reparo! Is a reparo Spanish for repair? <laughs> right. <laughs> Screw you, pot. Hate them all. I'll smash all the pots. <laughs> you did miss one back there, by the way, oh, but oh. I was a little disappointed. That's okay, it's too late now. Darn. I know. <laughs> Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. The privacy? That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look I'm in the privy. Would you please give me some privacy? That's right. Place. If you come or, in the, if you come in the uh, privy, you might see my bloody wanker. <laughs> Professor. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Poor Tywin Lannister died in the privy. He did. Interesting. <laughs> so did uh, Elvis. Yep. He also died in the privy. <laughs> Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. Elvis would fly on his personal jet to his favorite place. His bur favorite burger joints. Mm -hmm. He'd fly to eat a burger. Yep. He'd always take his friends too. Like, yeah. he was very generous. <laughs> the best burgers in America. Let's fly there. I did crucify <laughs> stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! You have to give him, you went way faster than him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta give him a minute. Odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? What in Merlin's beard? <laughs> Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Wake the goblin. Hello? The poor goblin is probably so bored <laughs> at this secret entrance to Gringotts. <laughs> No one's been in there in 20 years. At least. <laughs> hmm. 
It can't be. Customers. <laughs> uh, just a moment. Our goblin's kind of scary in the book. A <clears throat> little bit, a little bit. Greedy. Uh, he's very greedy. Um, like Grip Hook, he would only help them um, if they promised they'd give him the sword of Gryffindor. Whoa. And then, like, well, he kind of double crossed them and stole the sword reasoning. and left. Like, they, they'll do most anything out of greed. 12, mm-hmm. I presume. <laughs> Precisely. The key. Mm-hmm. I like goblins in Final I Fantasy. Oh, oh, 11, of 14, yes. specifically. They're so cute. They are so cute. With their this little way, goblin masks. And like the goblin fishers, Stickle. they have like a little metal um, like jock strap. Yeah. <laughs> they totally do. A cod, a cod piece. Oh yes, that's what it would be called. Oh, called. A cod piece. <laughs> a cod piece. <laughs> If you're going to play Harry Potter, you got to brush up on your British. If you're going to play Harry Potter. <laughs> and keep your hands inside the cards if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> you know, in 11, when we played online, everyone said WC for water closet for bathroom break, but mm-hmm. no, one in, no one in America says that, but in 11, we did. Yeah. I don't know how was, who's, who or how we started that. Yep. We would always say BRBWC. Yeah. Be right back, water closet. And that was only an 11 thing. Mm-hmm. I've never seen anyone say that in any other long online game. We'll say like RR for restroom or something. Yeah. I had to go, I had to go to the privy. To the privy. You want to take a breath? <laughs> the loo. The loo. <laughs> washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard it? Place made me want to throw up, especially if I was in VR right now. Oh gosh, that'd be <laughs> awful. <laughs> this game would be so cool in VR, though. Like I was saying, like all the, the wand magic tricks and stuff. You have to wave it just right. And pronounce it just right. Like. And if you say it wrong, it might blow up in your face. <laughs> But I was, I was telling you earlier, it'd be, really, it'd be hard to be a wizard if you have a speech impediment. Yes, it would. Or a stutter. Mm-hmm. You'd have to learn to master your magic non-verbally. Vote yes. number. Vote 12. Momentous day. <laughs> <laughs> On you, way. Yeah, his red armband had the same red glow as the dragon. Yeah. Professor, hmm? the armband the guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about <laughs> that back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. He doesn't seem so bad. Mm -mm. Here we are. The goblins in the Harry Potter universe don't have very many options for jobs. They either work for the bank or they make jewelry or weapons. A goblin has wow. been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one So there's bound to be some good ones. <laughs> 12, until today. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Forty-nine. You got fifty when you played. They must have random um, loot. They must. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure, sir. I wonder if you might. The instructions for Vault Twelve indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> they're very. Yeah. They're very by the book. <laughs> yes. <laughs> very, very by the book. <laughs> 
Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Never understood the point of this. Seems almost impossible to fail. Oh, if the red catches up to you, you do fail. I did it once just to see what would happen. <laughs> and you have to try again. Makes more sense than a VR setting. And try again. You have to make an R with your shape with your hand. I'm trying to you, Harry Potter would be custom tailored for VR. Oh man. If done correctly. Well, you're right. <laughs> There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of oh, this... You bet your ass if this, this development team made a VR only Oculus thing, I would buy it in a heartbeat. Oh yeah, for sure. Especially if it's like Persona where you like live your day by day. Oh, that'd be so cool. And you wake up in your bed in VR this is and it's fully immersive. You just go to school. To right? Out of here. What do you mean earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Lots of role play possibilities with Harry Potter that mm -hmm. people wouldn't see right up. Stay close. There will be no I'm telling you, a game like Persona poorly. and Harry Potter out of would be great. It would be awesome. Just living out your day, day by day, going to class. Yep. Revelio. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? <laughs> Poor Fig. <I> <laughs> some sort of statue. We see so much that he doesn't. A reflection <laughs> in the floor. I like that's the all-seeing eye symbol. This is what we do reveal you. Mm -hmm. In the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. When you turn your uh, iPhone Lumos. Well done. flashlight on, do you say Lumos? No, but I totally should. It does I think it works. Light. Like does Siri have a Lumos setting? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Let me, let me test it. Hey Siri. Look out. Lumos. Uh -huh. Lumos. It's on. Flashlight is already turned oh, on. Oh, it works. Yeah, it works. <laughs> oh, it's so nerdy. Yeah. <laughs> hey Siri, Revilio. Here are matches for Rio. Rio? <laughs> Revilio. Hey Siri, flashlight off. It's off now. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> That's You're so welcome. cool. That's, I did not know you can do Revilio. Or, 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 or I'm sorry, Lumio. Lumos. Lumos. I combined them. Lumos. So I guess they're Apple's secretly a Harry Potter fan. Oh yeah. <laughs> Stupefy. Looks like me in math class. <laughs> Doing good. 
by the end of the game, I feel like a total badass when I have like three or four hot bars full of spells. Oh, heck yeah. They're all color coded. Yes. And you I start building up ancient magic. Uh, yeah, you I can swap like slam boulders into people. Oh, yeah. I start swapping like hot bars like in the middle of the action. And it gets crazy. In mm -hmm. the end. It gets wild. The game starts really slow, but after about 10 hours in, it gets really crazy. It does. It is, I loved this game. This is one of my all-time favorite this games of all time. Good. Which is crazy. Where am I supposed to go? Only because it's a licensed game. Usually licensed games suck. The but this one didn't. Magic seemed to be leading me somewhere. Lumos. My only complaint was I wish it was a little bit more role-playing. Yeah. Oh, Other than that, it's fine. Well, like, you only go to class know. once. Yeah. Like, I, I really want a Persona game. I've said that like, already, but... No, no, that just, would be I awesome. Think it, it'd, fit, it'd fit the world so well. Yeah, it would. I want you to roleplay where you can make your own friends. Yeah. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Yeah. Let's fight. Take a stupefy. Does this game have voice activation commands? <laughs> no, but it totally should. Yeah, I've already figured that out. Thank you. <laughs> it might be frustrating though, because it might not be like 100% accurate or perfect all the time, so it might miss your command. Or if you had like an accent or spoke a different language or yeah, speech true. impediment. <laughs> there was a PS2 game a long time ago. I forgot the I forgot the name, but it had a microphone you can connect to the PS2 and it was all voice activated. Huh. And it was very gimmicky and I tried it out and it did not work very well. I, I learned the hard way that it might sound cool in paper, but... But it didn't work in real life. Yeah. <laughs> that was like back in, I don't know, 2004, 2003, so... I totally forgot what the name of that game was. Too soon. Oh, yep. <laughs> Too soon. <laughs> there we go. Got there we it. go. I bet in story mode, you can like one shot everything. Yeah, I'm pretty close. It was very, very easy. I'm glad for a challenge. You're gonna want story mode when you're towards the end of the game and your fingers get tired. Because <laughs> right. you have to hit R2 over and over and over again. I wish you could just hold R2 and like auto fire. Lumos. Just for the sake of your hand not getting tired. Mm hmm. Because you will spam Rebellion. it, trust me. Lumos. Lumos. No, Siri, don't turn the flashlight on. Damn it, Siri. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Sometimes she does respond to me like she's in my pants and she like talk, starts talking to me. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny when that like, happens to you, like out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't think your Siri's on. No. You don't like Siri. I like Siri in the car because I can hands-free call people or listen to certain songs. Mm-hmm. Your girl looks like she has pimples on her face, but she covered up with makeup. Aww. Uh, there you are. She definitely is 16 years old. How did you? <laughs> <laughs> She's pretty. I didn't say she wasn't pretty. I'm just saying that's what it looks like. I don't know. Her face is bumpy. I found this. Above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. Follow my lead.
All is in place. The portkey is well hidden? Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful Percival secrets. was one of we Dumbledore's middle names. Others will do mm, okay. anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility. How many middle names did he have? I think it was Albus, Percival, Wolfrith, Brian, Dumbledore. Oh, Brian. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Came out of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> All these like magical names, and then Brian. Brian. <laughs> That's what you're seeing. <laughs> That's funny. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. Bad is he, gobbies. Is he the main villain in the game? Yeah. Grand Rock. I was... There was a human, too, that was a... Mm -hmm. Rock. I forgot Rookwood. The name. Um, one of the descendants See, of that, Charles Rookwood. Oh, okay. Precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here, and we can let bygones be bygones. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sir. They have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose Rules. Your next words wisely. I. Uh, uh, never mind. I only meant that the instructions to Vault Twelve were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the. Nope. And you didn't have the key. <laughs> He's tired of you. Aww. Mm. I have no patience for traitors. Poor Gobby. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. They don't need wands. Mm-mm. Uh, goblins have never been allowed to have a wand. Only human wizards. But that pisses the goblins off. Mm-hmm. That's what, one of the reasons that the first goblin rebellion started was they wanted equal rights and they wanted to be allowed a wand and they wanted to be on the Wizengamont Council and stuff like that. They just don't trust them, do they? Mm-mm. Be a trip in VR, man. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> things are so much bigger in VR. That thing would have been, would have been huge. It would have been huge. It would have been cool yeah. to look at. Hogwarts would be amazing <laughs> in VR. Yeah, baby. that is true. Maybe someday. Oh, we. <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability. To end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to.
<laughs> I love trains. Yeah. There is a Hogwarts Legacy VR mo a mod, but it's not official. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, but it might not work very good. VR always makes me kind of nauseous. It can. You get used to it, though. I'm not a big fan of the VR mods, though. Ceremony. I'm no Your expert, American trucker win that was well, that's fun for you. It's official, but it still doesn't work very good. Oh, I didn't I know it was official. I thought it was, like, can, but first unofficial. I contact the One guy in the dev team kind of updates it. What happened to George <laughs> One fan. But yeah, basically. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready really cool. Ceremony? Thank you. I do. You. I like my character. Hmm. There's Sirius Black's grandfather. Yep. Phineas Nigellus Black. <laughs> Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. <laughs> Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? He's not like evil, he's just it kind of a prick. Goblins. Yes. Yeah. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm and rapidly losing whatever huge I've left. Believer that only pure bloods should lucky, learn magic. We might yeah. still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. He has a cool outfit, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Professor Weasley. We've won you going Slytherin? Yeah. All right. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. <laughs> you should know what to choose then. <laughs> yep. It's kind of obvious. It is. You want ambition. Mm-hmm. And I am very ambitious. I always want to be the best at whatever ah, I'm doing. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. <laughs> Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Voice actor did a really good job. Yeah, I of the movie wonder. version. Yeah. Mm. I did. Ollivander voiced the hat new. in the movie. Yeah, <laughs> John Hurt. Yeah. Of, mm, what is it? Ambition. Yes. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm. Interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Cunning, ambition, and a hunger for power. Yep. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna be a bad girl. You belong in <laughs> Slytherin. Well, not really bad, just gray. There you 
I thought everyone's cheering on Slytherin, but in reality, the people are like, uh. Oh, and <laughs> okay. great. Great. Okay. <laughs> Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Boo. <laughs> Boo! You suck. I want to play Quidditch. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin In other tomorrow. words, the programmers didn't want to do it. Sorry. <laughs> I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I love the stained glass. Oh, me too. Tomorrow. Has all the houses on it. Mm -hmm. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. In the dungeon. <laughs> like In the creepy ass dungeon. Yes. <laughs> It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a How do you get into the Slytherin dorm? But one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I don't I suspected as much. Remember. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Yeah, I there think you, you just stand in front of the wall and say it. No painting. Aspiration. It has to believe you, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Creepy. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Salazar probably went out of his way to make it even creepy down there. Like, oh yeah, totally. <laughs> so pretty. Oh, cool. I like all the green. Me too. Green's one of my favorite like colors. has gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio. The book probably never describes Slytherin because I don't think any characters had a Slytherin point of view um, in their area, did they? Um, Harry and Ron, when they used the Polyjuice potion, oh, they went down there. Um, in the Chamber of Secrets, they went to the Griffin to the Slytherin common room. So it, it described it. It described it, yeah. And in the Deathly Hollows Part Two, Harry went to the Ravenclaw common room with Luna to find the diadem. Um, but no one, which was nobody. one of the horcruxes. But no one with the Hufflepuff. And you never ever get to see Hufflepuff. It was really cool in this game though. I, it was, I was really I was a cool. Hufflepuff and it was really fun. Yeah. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. <laughs> he was a friend of Professor Figs who merely joined us for the ride. Still impressive. Dreadful Even though go, he died, fella. yeah. Aww. Dreadful Glad way to go. Figure all right. Professor Fig and I were lucky to escape with our lives. Indeed. And how did you escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but... Not exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, I'm he's sure looking for the dark side. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not every spell you may need can be found in our He's like Anakin. Mm -hmm. And he's doing it like Annie to save a family. Yeah. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which one? Not from a Seems Jedi. I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was <laughs> good meeting you. Good luck to me. <laughs> You two are going to get along really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All of my siblings are finished. 
I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Hey, oh my gosh. gosh. Watch this. She's such a know-it-all. Don't <laughs> say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. <laughs> Told you. Told, Told you. you. You should have listened to me. <laughs> ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin. The one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps oh, she's the flyer. Yeah. Thing or two I remember fly. her now. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on she my She teaches you to fly in those, um... The races? Yeah. That was banned or something. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? <laughs> Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. I think I heard one. Oh, yeah, Ominous is the blind guy, right? Yeah. I like him. Me too. Helped mermaids find us that interesting. Ah. And he's a gaunt. The when you the and room. Voldemort I'm was a gaunt. Interesting. I'm Ominous. Ominous gaunt. Nice to meet you. Very strong bloodline, well, then. You yes. certainly had a memorable arrival. Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first. I thought Voldemort was a. Though I doubt you'll need it. Um. What's it called? In an orphanage. Well, Tom Riddle was his name, and his dad was a Muggle named Riddle, but his mother was a Gaunt. Okay, so he was kind of like abandoned as a child, I guess. Because uh, he was in a, he, f he found him in an orphanage. Yeah, I I'm trying to remember what happened to his parents. It is kind of uh, questionable that he was a half blood himself. Yeah, he was. I don't remember what happened to his say he parents. Thought he heard a mermaid. It's been two years since I've read <laughs> yes. the books. I'm gonna have to read them again. I'm losing the little details. Common room window. <laughs> it is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin. One of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status. A pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Hmm. It is interesting that these start Slytherin because the most interesting characters are in Slytherin. Yeah, they are. The most important ones, anyways. Because mm -hmm. him and, him and uh, what's his face? Sebastian. Are the main plot line. They really are. Just by the stairs. She's not, but then two are. Revenia. The common room is nice and, like, really, really pretty. It is nice. If I remember correctly, Sebastian pretty much becomes your best friend. Mm-hmm. It doesn't no matter what. I mean, I was a Hufflepuff, and I was best friends with the Slytherin. <laughs> yep. The Slytherins aren't like Draco in the movies. They're not that weird. No. <laughs> Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts. I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding <laughs> exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion... The next year, you can take your notes. <laughs> <of magical education laughs> what does that stand for? 
We've devised something I think it was. extraordinary to ensure your success. I forgot. I forgot what the... I think the W and the T is Wizarding Trials. Mm. I forgot what the N and the E stand for. You have to get a certain score on them, and that depends on which classes you take in your seventh year. Okay. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that they you They had so better make a sequel to this so I can come back in my sixth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. You know what it stands for? What? Nastily exhausting wizarding test. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Nastily exhausting. I forgot that. <laughs> it's funny. Action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. She had a very, uh, the author had a really uh, interesting sense of humor mm -hmm. when it comes to the English. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. I like how also, like speaking of her sense of humor, like most of the professors, the guide will give you their name has something to do with their subject. Magic. Like mm. Professor Educate Strout teaches herbology. Yeah. Flitwick, you flick your do wand to do charms, you know. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. I like how they have eyes and they have to have a stealth open yes. those treasure chests. This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, who us which usually takes the form of a long-maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. <laughs> Nessie. Nessie. You nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> <laughs> isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Revelia. Here's my common room. <laughs> yeah, the creepy ass serpent. Yeah. <laughs> I remember exploring down here as my Hufflepuff, and I was like, oh, this is creepy down here. This know, is no right? place for a puff. <laughs> no place for a puff. <laughs> you belong by the kitchens. <laughs> That's my butter ah, beer. Time. Yes. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. an hour in and we're still in tutorials mm -hmm. you know some games you're four or five hours in and you're still um i think the last time i played final fantasy 12 i think i had to play like 10 or 11 hours before <laughs> i had all my characters oh yeah it's it takes a while you can it's a good eight or seven or eight hours quickly from central hall before the game really begins mm -hmm. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Revelio. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly charms. what you might expect. <laughs> Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become auras. 
Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever gifted Professor Hector. My favorite professor is the one in herbology. In that regard. You with the flowers in her hat? Yeah, she's <laughs> she's sweet. Yeah. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer. Butterbeer. Butterbeer. Of course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day. The and Sod Poodles minor league baseball team in Amarillo. Okay, Every year they have Harry Potter night. I've taken the girls a couple of times, and really they always have butter beer, butter beer be for sale. <laughs> it's so good. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. Yeah, but I want He's an alcoholic butter beer. Yeah, do you know how they make it at the ball game? How? Um, they use uh, cream soda and butterscotch syrup yeah. and whipped cream. Oh, okay. It's really good. Add, a, add some vodka to it and you have, you have real butter beer. There you go. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Yeah, he told me to stay quiet. Yeah. Speak <laughs> of the devil, Professor Fig. <laughs> Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. <laughs> I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's Didn't mean path, to. Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Yeah, that's the official Very ingredients well. for butterbeer, is cream you soda, butterscotch syrup, to class myself. butter extract, Might whipped cream. On you, Professor Fig, oh, cool. Explain the details that's how they make it at the ball game. Of course. Thank you. But if you had a little bit of vodka or something. Good luck today. <laughs> And remember I love how um, house elves guide. drink it and get like in really smashing room. drunk off of it. <laughs> <laughs> Especially Winky. She should have been in As the I'll babies. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm already talking about her. Yes, Professor. Come and find she's always drunk. Always drunk because she's so like ashamed today. that she got and fired. I'll explain more Aww. about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see Sad. if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Revelia. Sorry to interrupt the characters talking, but they kind of go on and on about Hogsmeade for a second. Well, and there it is. And we just watched the first hour a second ago, so yeah. we're, we're like... This ornate fountain features intricately carved statues of denizens of the magical world, including a set of stone sirens encircling the fountain's base. And sirens are mean. They mm -hmm. almost killed Harry in that one movie. Order of the Phoenix. There were some sirens in the water, wasn't there? Um, or mermaids. There was mermaids, and then there was um. And mermaids are mean. And the mermaids are mean. And most fantasy lores. Yeah, they're then, not. They're not like friendly. And there was Grindy Lowe's. I don't know if there was any sirens down there. You remember the mermaid in the lighthouse movie? Oh yeah. And she was not nice. She was not nice. <laughs> Creepy. They're 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 beasts, creatures, mm -hmm. monsters. They're definitely not the Little Mermaid in the. Disney movie. No. You can't grab that book yet. Nope. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully <laughs> evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late I did. <laughs> I did my best, but... I'm fairly certain she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, 
and so that I may avoid another not so subtle is a Gryffindor. Professor mm -hmm. Weasley, why don't I, I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. He's so shady, I thought maybe he was a Slytherin. <laughs> the map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. It's very brave, well, though. Sounds like <laughs> you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Going to dark arts first or what? Yeah. You have to go kick Sebastian's ass. That's right. <laughs> Revelio. There's so much stuff. I, I, I remember like spending days. Just walking around and exploring? Literally spent 20 hours finding stuff in this castle. It took me a long time. Oh, me too. I love that huge dragon skeleton. Oh, me too. Is that all you've got? <laughs> Professor Hecate! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. <laughs> new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. <laughs> it was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in Eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm. Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? <laughs> One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. If you oh, you better hurry. It's on a game. Oh, oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, in the in the books and in the movies, it's Wingardium Leviosa, but in here, it's Levioso with no at now, the end. Let's hmm. something a little yeah. larger. begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, good. Now, the basic. Well done. <laughs> Very good. I'm really gonna beat him up. <laughs> the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. <laughs> Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Welcome. There you go. 
lucky. So if it's yellow, you can use yellow on him. If <laughs> Nothing yellow about it. If he's it. red, use a red on him. Remember, remember that? Yeah. Depending on the circle. There you go. That's why I'd switch things so much. Mm -hmm. uh, I color code all my hot bars. Because you'll be attacked by four guys, and three of them have different circles. Oh, yeah, I remember that. It's kind of cool how they did it. It's simple, but... You know. but it's really fun. It's, yeah. it's, it's very engaging. Yeah. The battles are, give as good as you are really cool. <laughs> and you have a lot of... Like, there's a lot of different ways you can fight in this game. Yeah. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. <laughs> Understood, Professor. <laughs> so, I don't know if I'd, I'd like a you to kettle of Grindelows. <laughs> no. <laughs> Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. The graphics are so good in this game. They are so good. A spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Revelio. But like I said, we mostly play old games on this channel, so it's kind of cool <laughs> to see Pleasant something new. <laughs> this yes. is the newest game we've played ever on this channel, I think. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't <laughs> expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. <laughs> then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Ooh. <laughs> Fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. <laughs> if you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library. You just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? <laughs> we'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. I've done those, but you really needed more spells before you really do start doing that. Yeah. If you're interested. Yeah. And we have like two spells right now. Mm -hmm. Till next time. And one's a flashlight, so. And one's a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> I actually am kind of surprised there is no Oculus Harry Potter game. They, they had Star Wars and Resident Evil and stuff, but you, you'd be, you would think Harry Potter would have a official VR game. You would think. I know there is a Rebellion. a page about this. No. Well, it's just not showing up. Maybe you already got it. No. Maybe not all of them show up at first. Maybe you have to like reach a certain point in the story. Oh, maybe. Defense against the Dark Guards Tower. I think there's some ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> They're chasing each other. Revenia. <laughs> this castle's massive. I know. See, I know some of them are here. They're just not showing up. Probably not. Maybe you have to be at a certain part of the story. 
Maybe. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Oh, here's the fun one with the ball game. Mm -hmm. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms. <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? Hmm? Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. <laughs> mm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning Obliviate spell. was Lockhart's specialty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was like the only spell he could do well. Mem memory wipe. <laughs> memory wipe. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs. Like men in black. On yeah. Of the classroom. <laughs> Wiping your memory. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Akio. Akio. That one definitely comes in that handy collecting oh, yes. field guides. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me. Yeah, this game's fun. The, uh, it where, is where, so much fun. Where you accio the balls. I love that. Mm -hmm. I made sure to always <sighs> go here when it popped up on the map. Oh yeah, me too. That fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Simply cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish yeah, So basically, you just have to let go before. Whoa, way too. Way too much. Yeah, let go before it gets to the last one, and you're good. There you go. Maybe a tad too much. Okay. Excellent control there. I would let go right when it's like right around the middle or a little bit before the middle of 30. Very good. Yeah. Thanks to slither it. <laughs> But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. If she lands on 50, try to knock it off and get, like, get yours on 50. <laughs> That'd be really fun. A very Slytherin thing to do. It would be. Yes! 
So if you stand right in front of it, like line it up, and they'll get further. And then maybe that might. Oh, you like Ooh, way too I, soon. Yes, I did. What were you doing? <laughs> He's gonna beat your butt now. You're gonna have to knock that well's red ones off. His head's in the way. Oh. You didn't knock Aww. it off. I bet you can hit the blue one and then knock her red one off. If you have the very far right knot. You're no fun. <laughs> Quite impressive. Aww. You could have beat her if you had followed my instructions, but you chose not to. I know. <laughs> you could have hit your blue and then knocked hers off. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Yes! You can do it. Oh, oh, good job. Yeah. Very good. I thought she was about to hit you. <laughs> this is how it's Oh, 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 good job. Yeah. You got it down now. <laughs> Nicely done. Here we go. Oh, green again for her. You win no matter what now. Even if you would hit the ball off the court, you would have oh, won. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, you had 100. Perfect score. Nice. Good job. Very Thanks. good, both <laughs> of you. Well done. If you beat her two times, you get points for Slytherin, but you didn't. <laughs> Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Yeah, well. It's not as cool as Hogwarts. <laughs> it's like I do a castle like Hogwarts. It addresses mountains of the moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. Spells cast without a wand must be less powerful than those cast with a wand. 
No, no, not at all. Wizarding magic cast without a wand is just as powerful. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. That's not true, is it? No. Not to mention quite convenient. Because your wand combines with your wand. magic, and I especially depending means, on the however, core of the wand, I am growing quite fond you can of like cast wand. better spells, and it if it's like matched with the dramatic. wizard, it makes you more powerful. It enhances the magic. But so she's full she of shit. She can just can think that if she wants. It's fine. Things. Sure, whatever. Thank you for asking. <laughs> I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep. I mean, look how powerful Until next Dumbledore time. was, and then look, look how powerful he was with the Elder Wand. You yeah. I mean, the wand enhances your magic. If you're so inclined, a word well, if you would, be especially if you're compatible with it, or if you, you win it in a duel. Speak with me, Professor. I did. <laughs> I trust your first charms lesson lived Is that up an to Iron Maiden in the background? Well, <laughs> I've never noticed that before. It's for the naughty kids. <laughs> what? And the Iron Maiden with you. <laughs> you did well managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is <laughs> it looks like it. a fierce competitor, <laughs> though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now... Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Yeah, the girl from Uganda kind of annoys me. Yeah, me too. It's this stupid, like... She thinks that, like... Wakan like Wakanda bullshit. Yeah, she thinks that everything was better student, back in her home Hello. country. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale, I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I think in reality... They, they can't afford wands, and, they, and, they, and their school's a hut on the side of the mountain. <laughs> a hut on the side so of the mountain. Made out of straw and clay. <laughs> then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Revelio. Hmm. Yeah, they're not all showing up yet. No, not yet. Gardens at Hogwarts. There's a book, though. There you go. Nice. With the help of house elves, and then the werewolves join the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you in the Goblin Rebellion? Peace. 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister <laughs> for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. Albert <laughs> Boot. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It's cute. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, okay, so it needs to be two. Attack. Was the minister a boot or the minister a flack? Stop it, Peeves. You'll get us in trouble. <laughs> in trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot and he says it's a flack. Peeves, <laughs> enough. Oh, my God, I love Peeves. <laughs> And you get us all att anything. detention. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> <laughs> Peeves is cracking me up. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love Peeves. It's a simple math problem, right? Yeah. We should wear the curious silver spectacles for the rest of the game. <laughs> Do it. Put them on. Do it. You're gonna rock those glasses, girl. Got some gloves too? Or oh, there's decoration. Um. Put them yes. on. There you go. Oh my gosh. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. It's actually no uh, glamour that. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be glamouring that. <laughs> I don't know if I can take you seriously at this point. <laughs> no. No. Look at those shades, those red ones. I never had. That's cool.
The background music sounds like GTA. Oh, it kind of does. In my, I'm a more of a I'm a robes guy. I like the classic robes look. So in my game, I I wore the classic robes the entire game. No I had shame. some fun and experimented, but not I'm me. Good at that. I like the, I like the classic robe look. <laughs> Oh, taking a shortcut, huh? Well, yeah. That's what they're there for. If you run around, though, you might see a book or two. That's true. Pavelia. Ooh. Perfect location. Wyvern Fountain. This fountain in the Transfiguration Courtyard has a likeness of a wyvern on top and serves as a relaxing place for students to gather. Despite rumors to the contrary, possibly started by Sir Cadigan, this is the most assuredly not meant to be the Wyvern of Wye, slain by the lively knight in spite of himself. Oh. <laughs> Remember Sir Cadigan in... I don't know if he was ever in the movies. In know. the books, he was a painting, um, and he oh. was a knight, and, like, any time somebody would, like, walk by him, he would want to duel them. Like, come on, come on, duel me, duel me, fight oh. me. And he had, like, a sword. I think he's in this game. Um... I think he is in this yeah, game. Yeah, I think I fought but him in this game. He was in the game. books. Yeah. yeah. Not in the movies, though. I think he was, yeah. Well, if they do remake the Harry Potter show on HBO or whatever, there, there should be a Peeves and, and definitely that guy, too. Room, and Winky. Professor. And Winky. <laughs> Winky definitely should be in it. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> <laughs> Love the house elves. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more. Your hair looks red in this lighting. Told me. <laughs> the... Yeah, it does. Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying <laughs> to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. We're almost caught where we were. <laughs> almost, yep. You well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the Yeah, but supposedly in Africa, they don't need wands. Potions, <laughs> and their magic is not weaker. It's stronger. It's stronger. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. <laughs> Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sally. Don't go with the Uganda Curl, right. please. I've oh, no, I wasn't planning on it. She draws me up the wall. <laughs> I like Sebastian. I'd like to go with Sebastian. 
And even when he's doing like is a capable young wizard. And he knows the area. Things that are kind well of in the gray area of being bad, route. it's to protect his family, so I get it. Yeah. local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow. Theophilus. I love that Once name. You've finished <laughs> Theophilus. Assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a Yay, butter butterbeer. <laughs> I need a butter beer wrap out right now. Oh, me too. We should make a real butter beer with some, you know, spike it with we some vodka. We totally should. <laughs> As we play our Hogwarts game. <laughs> ah, there you are. Reparo. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, that seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. <laughs> I'll start on the task right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Miss. Miss. <laughs> Got it. Three times a charm. <laughs> miss. Miss. <laughs> That's right. A flying page must be around here somewhere. Much like your backseat driver's yes. lawyer. Pieces a menace in this game. He is a menace. I trust the preliminary tasks won't. I he likes to pick on first years the most. Yes. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm. He loves to like then, throw chalk we? at them as they're Remember walking by. Be deliberate in and no one knows how to get rid of them. And no. Movements. No, they can't. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit. I like how the history teacher is a ghost. Oh, I know. And he's in this game still. Yes. So he's been there for like centuries. And in the books, they say that he, um, Professor Benz, that like he didn't even notice when he died. Like he was just <laughs> like, like he fell asleep in his chair um, while he, like after class one day and like he died in his sleep and he just like got up and just kept on teaching. <laughs> and then no one had the heart to fire him. No. Nope. That's it. That's really <laughs> funny. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go. With and it's so funny because, like, anytime Hermione raises her hand, ask a question, he's like shocked because nobody ever asks questions in his class. They just sleep. <laughs> oh wow! Did lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. He's not in the movie at all. I know he should be. That's interesting to have a ghost for a teacher. It is interesting. Works like a charm, doesn't it? I can't think of a better teacher than a than a ghost to teach you history. Yes. From a different time. Yeah. Nice. What's the max level on this game? Was 40. It, was it 40? Mm -hmm. I think I got 40, I think. Yeah, my character was 40 also. You are not tracking anything. Oh, wrong way. I like following the little fairy. Yeah. <laughs> I like in uh, Supernatural when he sees a fairy and he's like, nipples? <laughs> <laughs> and he microwaves it. You fight those fairies. <laughs> it's about time Hogwarts put someone like Black in charge. 
That's one of my all-time favorite episodes of Supernatural. Yeah, that was pretty, I'd like to watch it again. Pretty funny. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> I like the ones where they, get, that, they, they die over and over again. Yeah, that one too. But like in, in that episode, like so much happens. Like there's fairies and like Dean gets abducted by aliens. Mm-hmm. And yeah. at the time, Sam doesn't have his soul. So he's just like like oh, hooking up with this hippie chick instead yeah. of looking for his brother. <laughs> yeah, he's really in a bad place. Well, yeah. fancy meeting you here. <laughs> this set of armor belonged to Sir Scagglethorpe the Heedless, who unwisely challenged a mountain troll to a game of musical chairs. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> unwisely. <laughs> So he got his head thwomped. Hello, Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first <laughs> there goes the friar. The village? <laughs> it is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides, then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained, too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Is that girl passed out on the stairs over there? I think so. Just couldn't take classes anymore and just passed out. I mean, first day of school is hard. <laughs> I was glad Professor Mosley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. If you would have failed, he'd probably have been like, well, Speaking of wheezy, you suck at duels. I need to keep an eye on you. Make sure you, <laughs> right? you know. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. <laughs> <laughs> Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> I like the floating water cans to, you know, water all the flowers. Yes. The librarian was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Nice. <laughs> So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. Revelio. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. There's more of them. Beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? Oh, cool. Hippogriffs. You certainly don't see that every day. I love the hippogriffs. Yeah, we saw one in that stupid Rebel Moon movie. Oh, I know. You even had to bow to it. It's like, <laughs> really? Yeah. Absolutely. It's really funny. <laughs> Rebellion. To the left is the Forbidden Forest, out of bounds to all students. Hence the name. Hence the Precisely. name. Yeah. <laughs> they think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. It's a pretty road. Mm-hmm. Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. It's positively enormous. <laughs> it is I like how the mushrooms leap. Five years well, yeah, they are the leaping toadstools. <laughs> <laughs> Places to discover. Oh, any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. <laughs> I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? Revelio. You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. <laughs> they were talking crap on Imelda. <laughs> pulling a carriage, a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. 
But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself first. The conversation too. with him on the way there well, is much more interesting than it was with Natty. Yeah. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. He's seen death. Mm-hmm. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new Rebellion. Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. <laughs> Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. <laughs> what did, Mr. Huh? Moon? It looked right Dilly at me. Guys, <laughs> ugly and airy and terrifying. <laughs> I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. Oh, shoot those. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Moonstones. Yes. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. <laughs> oh, is your sister Hogsmeade's in the Hogsmeade's pretty. Mm-hmm. She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Revelio. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all ah. it like moths. This precariously stacked set of cauldrons outside is Sarah. Siridwins advertises the shop's wares. It should be noted that stacking cauldrons in this fashion, while admittedly eye-catching, is ill-advised for anyone wishing to brew a potion of any intended effect. <laughs> <laughs> So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes, Dittany seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke first. around the village. Oh, definitely. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Get drunk. <laughs> Have a couple of butter beers. See, I said like they've been making wands since like three three eighty two BC. BC. Jeez. <laughs> wands of a variety of woods and all manner of flexibility, each possessing one of three magical cores, choose their owners in this cozy, cluttered shop run by the amiable and knowledgeable Gerbald Ollivander. In the profession of wand craft since 382 BC, the Ollivander family are considered the best wand makers in Britain, if not the world. <laughs> I bet there's better ones in Africa, though. Oh my gosh. They don't need wands. Blooming beard, not a gem. You just shot his <laughs> desk there. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah. Mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for. For a new wand. Yes. It's about time. Yes, I. About time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. <laughs> Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders. I love how you sure. just want Timeless just to lift up the counter. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Wizards probably have no muscles because they never uh, use them. <laughs> no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes. Yes. Hmm. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches? Hmm. You might do. Here. 
Give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. <laughs> swish and flick. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? Too much. <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <laughs> uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. I think you might be the one. Here. Take it. All right, time to customize your wand. That's right. You Harry Potter nerd. <laughs> Curious indeed. Curious indeed. Hmm. I like that one. See what type of wood. How intriguing. Doesn't change the look of it or anything. No. Curious indeed. <laughs> How intriguing. Curious indeed. Twelve and a quarter inches. <laughs> How intriguing. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Dragon Heartstring is known for producing powerful magic. Unicorn Hair, known for producing consistent magic. Phoenix Feather, capable of producing a great range of magic. Hmm. See, the... Th Phoenix and Unicorns both give their hair and feathers voluntarily. Unfortunately, you'd have to kill a dragon to get its heartstring. That's kind of sad. So wands are pretty expensive, and then mm -hmm. think about it. Phoenix Feather, exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. What do you think? Extraordinary. Mm -hmm. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Of course. And a phoenix feather core is terribly selective. <laughs> this will be an excellent match indeed. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions. 
particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Revelio. I don't know if you can go back there or not. I guess that one's probably outside. Yeah, huh? yeah. Just jack some of his gold. He doesn't need that. <laughs> he doesn't need that. It's fine. Revenia. Um, since... Let me try to find that one that was flying. Okay. Since it is 9 o'clock on a work night, I'll make this my last thing that I get. Okay. I don't know if you can save. You can try. You can. Yes. There's one time I tried saving and I said I couldn't. Oh, there you go. All right, we'll play more later, uh, probably another day. Sounds Tomorrow, good. maybe. We'll see. Thanks for watching. Yes.